Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril. I want to talk today about Markov Decision Processes or MDPs. MDPs are a mathematical framework which allows you to make decisions under uncertainty. So now we do not perfectly know what the outcome of your action will be. So if there is some random component to it, then the MDPs allows you to make um, optimal decisions. And what the MDP does, it maximizes some expected future rewards. So whatever you will gain in the future will be taken into account in your decision making process. And the MDP can be defined with a four tuple. So you need to define what are the possible states your system can be in, what are the possible actions that you need to execute. Then you need to specify a trans so-called transition function, which tells you, given I'm in a certain state and I execute an action to reach another state, what the probability of this going to happen. And last, it specifies the reward. What do I gain if I'm in a certain state? What's a good state? What's a bad state? So you can make a very simple example. For example, we have a mobile robot that lives in a very simple world and there is one state where a charging station is, where the robot gets its energy, so a positive reward. Or there's a staircase where the robot may fall down the staircase, so a place we want to avoid the robot to go. So the robot is somewhere and wants to reach the charging station. What should it do? If it would perfectly know what it does, so perfect action execution, we would probably navigate along the shortest path to the charging station. If we, however, take into account that some unexpected thing may happen, the robot executes a random command in a certain probability or a certain set of cases, then it can happen that the robot accidentally falls down the staircase. And how should we behave in order to avoid that? And what the MDP does, it tells you what to do in every state. It computes a so-called policy which minimizes the probability of the robot falling down the staircase. So the solution to an MDP is a so-called policy. It's basically a recipe which tells you if you're in a certain state, execute that action and this will maximize your expected future reward. And there are basically two techniques or two algorithms which allow you to compute a solution to an MDP. The first thing is value iteration, um, an approach going back to Bellman 1957, which optimizes the very famous Bellman equation. And it uses a utility of a state. And you can see the utility in what's the potential um, future reward that I can get in that state. And it tries to compute the utility for that state and then basically does a gradient descent in this um, utility function. And it is an iterative approach which always updates the utility of every state with a dynamic programming solution in order to compute a solution to an MDP. Another approach is policy iteration. Here you try to avoid working with the utility function and you're directly operating on a policy and iteratively updating your policy until that policy converges. And with this policy, you basically have a handbook or a recipe which tells you what to do in which state in order to behave as good as possible. I hope that was useful and introduced you to the very basics of decision making under uncertainty. Um, we so far have only taken into account uncertainty about the action execution. If we take unobservability or partial observability into the game, that means we do not know in which state we are in, then things become much more complicated and we enter the world of POMDPs or partially observable Markov decision processes. But those are much, much harder to solve. With this, thank you very much for your attention.